Yeah, we're starting it now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to start these Crazy. videos off. Usually on like a regular Yappy video, we're like, do what's it. up guys, it's Yappy. Today we're doing this. But with does. like Yappy fam, like how should we start the intro? Do what Millie does. Like this? All right. Action. <laughs> we're just going to start it. So the goal of today's video is you guys have seen the proposal video if you're new to the Yappy fam channel. And we thought, you know, since we've been posting, when I say we, me and fiance Ken's she's in here too and by the way hold on one second we're in my dad's basement me and my cameraman Emilio have grown men bunk beds they're actually kind of cool though. they're actually kind of cool queen size bunk beds and uh me and Ken's questionable a little sturdiness a little a little questionable but today we're going to be telling you the story of how me and Kenzie met and all that but also we wanted to give you like a little room tour like I'm getting a desk made. This is in my dad's basement. We're trying to save a little bit of money because me and Kenzie aren't living together until we're married. And yeah, we just moved in. We got some stuff and decorations and just stuff all over the place. Decorations. And <laughs> decorations. We got some cans and stuff. And uh, Press is just chilling, laying on the floor. Press. Do what he did. Best. Where's that? Nice. So yeah, we thought it'd be cool since you guys have seen the proposal video and how that went. We wanted to tell you guys how it all started. That's a good little... But all, before that... What, uh, what's on me? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> but before that, this is Millie's little, like, man cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Looks good. Presley's, Presley's little spot is over here. He doesn't have a bed yet. We got to give him a bed. We got my bow. I got some of, my, some of the deer that I've shot. But this is an actual hunting blind that we're going to be using in a video that we are in the process of filming right now. Kenzie doesn't even know about it yet, but we're taking Kenzie hunting for the very first time. So that's gonna be coming up later on this week. But first video, how we met and how that went down. And the best part is, oh wow. One more, one more, one more. And the best part is we have a full basketball court in our in our room. Half court. Half court. We don't, Wait, have, let me get, let me get. We don't have two hoops. Yeah. Oh, out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my one shot, kiss it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> for the moment that they've all been waiting for, how we met. Are you going to say it? Or how, how, we, how, how do we... God, Presley stinks. You need a bath, bro. Hey, can you go Yeah, your there? dad needs a bathe, bro. Lay down. Good, Good boy. boy. Okay. I don't know how we can... How do we bounce this off one another? Okay. We're talking I'll, about, like... How... Okay. The night we met. Okay. Why don't you tell your side? We'll tell, I'll tell my side. And of the I'll story. tell mine, and then it'll come together. <laughs> As one. <laughs> okay. So, gosh, what was this? Four years ago? Yeah. Four years ago, um, it was around November. Thanksgiving week. It was Thanksgiving week. At the time, I was. At Columbus State University, I was a cheerleader. I had just started YouTube. I think less than, less than like were, uh, maybe you, a thousand followers. No, no, no. You hit five thousand while we were dating. Oh. So less than a thousand followers on YouTube. Um, like I didn't even think that like YouTube was actually going to be a thing. But uh, we decided to go out in actually in Athens. You know how they say like, oh, you're not going to find your like person that you're going to marry in a bar, well, one night, me and a bunch of buddies went out, um, I wasn't really thinking about drinking or anything like that, I was just going to DD or whatever, just go home early, and I just wasn't really feeling it, we were at the bars, hanging out with just all of our buddies, there was no girls or anything, and, um, and one of my buddies was like, hey, come with me to this bar, which was like four or five blocks away, like I was tired, I didn't feel like going. And uh, he was like, I'm going to meet up with this girl, but she has a sister. And supposedly she she's like, she's cute. And I was like, <laughs> bro, like, th my buddy's Ethan, by the way. Um, like, bro, you know how this works. Like, I I'm, that never works out. Usually the guy going and meeting up with other girls, it's like the guy, the girl that she's going for looks good. Mm -hmm. And then the other girls are just like <laughs> ratchet, you know? So it never works out or never did in the past. And so we, he talks me into it. We go up to the bar and, um, 
I mean, like it's like a line to get in. It's like a, there's a cover. Like it's so stupid. Like I'm just like so over this situation. And so uh, we finally get in the bar. I have to use the restroom, and we run in. Me and Ethan run into your sister. Yeah. So at that point, we still have not seen each other, met each other. No. We. I just walked into the bar. We. And I met your sister, yeah. and that's it. And then she went to the bathroom, and I walked to the end of the bar. Like, mm -hmm. I was, like, being such a loner. Like, I walked to the end of the bar. I was not excited to meet these mystical people that my buddy's, like, oh, going crazy about. And so I was, like, whatever. I'm just going to go to the end of the bar. Like, I'm, like, this. Like, if, if this is the bar, like, I'm at the end of the bar not even looking towards the people. <laughs> like, I'm, like, looking. There's a wall right here, and I'm just, like, this. Maybe not, I'm not, I'm not bent down, but I'm just like this on the bar, like looking this way. That's, I'm going so far into the story. Yeah, so, so that's you, your side. Yeah, that's my side. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. I feel like our, I know that our stories are kind of similar. Yeah, they are. But so, I was having the same kind of night. Like, I didn't want to really be there. I didn't really <laughs> feel good. Um, I wanted to go home. And my sister was like, come we get, we're gonna go to one more bar just one more bar she was like and he has a friend he has a friend that you, you know you can hang out with and meet and whatnot and her sister is very pushy like yes when it, it, those nights like going out she's like this is what we're doing like if you're not on the same level as yeah. her then she's like upset with yeah you. so i told her i was like okay last knowing one, that now <laughs> <laughs> i was like okay last one this is it like after this i'm going home and so we go into the bar and Corbin, my sister, goes to the very back where he was saying that y'all were. So when he met my sister, Corbin, y'all were in the back. So I was in the front of the bar. Wait, I that met Corbin confusing. in the front of the bar. I thought y'all met in the back. No, I met Corbin as soon as we walked in. And then, well, I, then I don't know where I was. You're probably right there. <laughs> you're probably right there. You just didn't know that was me. Okay. Well, anyways. Okay. So then. Sorry, I didn't mean to mess with your story. No, you're fine. And then all of a sudden I look over at the bar where he's like this. And Corbin was like, that's him. And he turned around, and I was like... Whoa, I didn't get the... Okay, okay, yeah. So then... <laughs> so, We've told this story a thousand yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I turn around, and the first person I see is Kenzie, because mm -hmm. I've already met Corbin, so I'm kind of like looking past her. That, that sounds bad, but mm -hmm. I'm looking for this girl yeah. that I'm supposed to meet. Yeah. And so it happens to be Ken's. And so we both kind of like make eye contact, and we're kind of like... Our whole night's just like... Is everything turned shifted. around. Everything it was just shifted. Like, I, I wanted to stay. I didn't want to go home. I was like, okay, like let's just have a good let's night. Let's go to another bar. <laughs> like, and so, um, so we hung out that night. And when I left, yeah. Should we keep telling, or should we? This could be. Could this be another yeah, story? Let's keep telling. Keep telling. Yeah. Okay. So once I left, like I had. I, this sounds so like I had. I had. I was going to church with my mom in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I told you that, and you didn't believe me. Yeah. And so I had to go to church in the morning, so I had to wake up early. So I left, and when I left, I knew her name. I knew her name, and I knew that I could get in contact with her, like, through Instagram or whatever. But, like, you know when you're dating, you got to play – or not dating. When you're looking for someone, you have to play, like, this stupid yeah. game. So, like, on my side, I was expecting, like, hey, can I have your number? Like, like let's hang out sometime soon. Literally nothing. Just, nothing. like, I cold, cold, cold turkey just left. I left the room and I knew exactly what happened because we had an amazing night. We yeah. had we hung out. It was perfect. Like, yeah. and and from that point, like I know it's like love at first sight, but I was yeah. like, wow, I really like this girl. Mm -hmm. Like I could, you know, I could see myself dating this girl, but I don't know what her intentions are, mm -hmm. right? So like I had to play it cool, mind you. I'm like going to my mom, like, yo, what do <laughs> I say? Like I always go to my mom for like relation some relationship advice. And, uh, well, or so, when I used to. Yeah. yeah. But well, I went home and told my mom that I had met this guy. Well, and, and like, your sister. So, and well, my like, sister. Hold on, on your way, on the way home. Yeah. Your sister, you were like. Yeah, I was like, he didn't, he didn't ask for my number. He didn't get my Instagram. He didn't get anything. And we're, I'm like complaining about it. And then I go home and I was like, I met this guy and I'm looking up his Instagram, <laughs> like showing my mom pictures, but this guy hasn't even like contacted me at all. And so I wait a whole like night and a, almost a whole day. Yeah. And I was about to head back to Columbus. I was also in college at Georgia State, so yeah. we were both going back to our colleges. And this is your senior year, my like fifth senior year? Seventh year. <laughs> no. no. So this is my fourth year. You graduated on time. Mm -hmm. I did not because mm -hmm. I transferred to school. Anyways. 
So she was going back to, to Georgia State. I knew all of this. So, like, mind you, I'm like, all right, I have a two-hour drive to Columbus. Like, I'm going to go to my mom, recap what I should do, and get a game plan for what I should do. Mm. And so I think it would be funny if we showed, like, uh, the DM that I sent mm-hmm. you. So if I can find it, we'll screenshot it and put the DM that I sent you. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was like a... No, no, no. So he ends up DMing me. I don't remember what you what exactly you said. But it was, we end up it going... It was something so stupid. No, no, no. That's the text message that you sent me. We'll get there. Oh, I DM'd you. Yeah. Then and I we, sent a and stupid... And we like kind of had a conversation okay. back and forth. And we'll, we'll But most those. people know. Most people know. When you start DMing something, someone... That jump between getting the phone number yeah. and like... It's it's a hard break. Like, yeah. how do you ask for it? Like, you as a guy, you're supposed to ask, I guess. But as a guy, it's almost like props if they ask. Okay. You know? Yeah. But that's not... If you know me, that's not me. And I... I you wonder. said that. You, I'm pretty sure. You know, so, I said, you, are you going to ask for my number? Yeah. You're like, no. And then I was like, no, but you can text me. And I gave... And I, like, sent my number so that he could he could text me. Because I'm not, I'm not one to, like, text someone first or whatever. So he had to text me. And... The first thing he texts me <laughs> is an emoji of a turtle. I like turtles. And I was like, okay, oh, this so guy. Our, so our text won't be, like, our text won't No, be, but crap. the turtle emoji, I was like, okay, this guy's weird. Like, I don't, that's <laughs> not a good in first impression. Which I am. I am super weird. <laughs> we start talking. Eventually, it gets more and more texting, mm-hmm. FaceTiming. Mm-hmm. We end up meeting up, going on our first date, yeah. stuff like that. And it, it was awesome. Like, I... For real, yeah. was like, I was in love with this girl. I don't know what she was or what she was feeling, but I'm pretty sure like the third time we hung out, I told you I love you. It was soon. Yeah, it was like <laughs> super soon. Big mistake. But that's just how I I, I am. I just, I like, what is it? Hard Where on your sleep? Yeah, your yeah. Sleep. So like, I love hard, whatever. And it was like a downfall, or at least I thought at the time. Mm-hmm. And so... We dated for three, four months. Three to four months. And um, I surprised her at a tournament mm-hmm. and filmed the whole thing. If I have that video, I would love to show a clip. Yeah. But, like, I we drove with your sister for four or five hours to Mississippi State for mm-hmm. her senior year softball game. Yeah. I get there, I surprise her. It's great. Everything that I thought was going great. Mm-hmm. And, um, he slept in the hotel room with my parents and yeah. like my family. I mean, like it was super early and like, yeah. But so, um, so yeah. And then and Valentine's then, Day is yeah. coming up. And so like I went all out, like I, at the time had no money. Like I spent all my savings on this like crazy Valentine's Day for mm-hmm. her, whatever. We filmed all of that. I don't know if I can get this footage. Yeah. But if I can, it would be so funny I to look at. I still have the gift you gave me. Yeah. So, so to give you a story, Kenzie was senior year of college. Mm-hmm. Um, she wants to finish up strong. And, like, the way that her and her family are is, like, super, super dedicated to sports, which my family is too, and I can totally understand that. As well, you were dating someone that was, like, going to be a YouTuber, you know? <laughs> like, at the time, I... I the YouTube thing started from a class, mm-hmm. and, you know, I didn't think that it was going to be a job yeah. or turn into anything. I'm sure you didn't either, mm-hmm. and, like, the way our families are, or not, were, was, you know, you go to college, you get yeah. a job, you know, and so I totally understood that, and, and neither of us could foresee the future. Yeah. So, we were just going on different paths, and if we, <laughs> when I say this... If we would have stayed together, we would not be together right no, now. Wouldn't. So, three to four months in, we break up. My heart's shattered. And that's where the story is going to have to stop for today. But, if you guys want to hear about the breakup and that story, I want to start doing more story times on this channel just because there's so much of our lives that we haven't shared with you guys. And I think it'd be really cool to just kind of let you guys in and let you know some of the secrets. Mm-hmm. Um, not ser- not necessarily secrets because everybody around us knows it, but yeah. you know, you guys don't know us. And, and you guys have asked before, like some, all the OG people saw the video that yeah, I posted. They did. <laughs> so all the OG people that are watching right now, thank you so much for following me this long. But you guys saw the video of the Valentine's Day and whatever. Opening the presents. Yeah. It was so awkward. Um, but. Um, that 
that's where we're gonna cut yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to explain that in detail too, and kind of lead up to how we got back together. Right. Right. So this is just kind of how we met and um, how we got to dating the first time. <laughs> right. Yeah. If so, you didn't know that already. If you didn't know that. Um. So. I guess we're going to wrap up this video. We, have, we are doing hunting videos and other types of videos mm -hmm. on the channel, that stuff that we already do. Um, we're a very, like, adventurous couple, I'd like to say, with the traveling and stuff, so we don't want to just... And there's a just, lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of... Usually, for, okay, for our video, for my videos on j on the Yappy channel, I almost said just Yappy, <laughs> like, j me and Brandon were joking about how I tried to do an Instagram post the other day, yeah. and I was like, all right, guys, just go over to, you know, it's just Yappy channel, and I'm like... Crap, I can't say that anymore because he's just digging. Me and Brandon have to. Okay. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so on the Yappy channel, it's like a mission, you know, like mm -hmm. finding golf balls or finding iPhones or, you know, finding this, finding that. Whereas like this channel is going to be more laid back, vlog, Q&As, hunting stuff, m maybe even fishing challenge travel when vlogs. it gets, yeah, yeah, when it gets warmer. Um, just stuff because we do travel a lot for making the videos and there's a lot of stuff that goes on that is super funny that we just never record other than like Snapchat or Instagram. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, for those of you that are following this channel because of the Yappy channel, thank you guys so much. It means the world to us and you guys have truly changed our lives each and every video that you watch. Um, so it means, it means the world to us. You guys mean so much to us. Um, but we kind of wanted to tell you the plans for this channel and share uh, a story that a lot of you have been asking for a long time. And we yeah. hope that you enjoyed it. And press and is coming thank you in so much for, all for the, the outro. Thanks so much for all the support on the proposal video. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. We're so excited. We're doing a lot of wedding planning and we're hoping we can share that too. So A lot. Um, Oof. <laughs> so stressful. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we want to share with you on this channel and we can't wait for that. So... Stay tuned. I think at the end of this week, we're going to be posting the hunting uh, or getting ready to teach kids how to hunt. Um, so that should be funny. And uh, that's it. Stay tuned because we're going to have a bunch more story times, stuff like that. That's so it. let us got, let us know, <laughs> <laughs> let us guys, let us know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this video, leave this video a big thumbs up. But that's pretty much it. Yappy fam. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Follow our journey, and uh, yeah, I don't even know how to do outros on this channel, but can we boop the, can we, <laughs> good, <laughs> peace out guys.